someone is about to buy 10 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin in what could be the start of a new major era of Bitcoin accumulation and the start of a new major bullish phase in the cryptocurrency markets. I'll be diving into that story for you today. Also, big news coming out of Malaysia, big news coming out of El Salvador. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video to get all of the goods. My name's Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency investing. If you do like that topic, you like stand up to date with what is happening in the cryptocurrency industry, and a quick tap on that thumbs up button, let me and YouTube know that you do like the kind of content, it would be massively appreciated. Now, real quick before we get into the charts, just a reminder to sign up for Wealth Mastery. This is my weekly newsletter where we talk about token sales and altcoins and NFTs and DeFi tutorials and much, much more. You can sign up for free using the link down below in the description. Now let's get into those charts. Bitcoin is in a very interesting place right now. So I wanted to point out the weekly charts here, especially for the MACD, because something very interesting is happening for Bitcoin here. Let's just make that a little bit bigger before we dive into all that stuff up there. You can see we are looking at the MACD potentially having a bullish cross coming up in the next week or two, obviously, unless the price craters, which can always happen. But that is currently the direction we are heading in. We may have bottomed out here and be finding our reversal point. The worst could be over. The sell-off back in January likely could have been the bottom. Macro concerns obviously do still persist. But if we are seeing that reversal coming in, that could be the start of a new major impulse for Bitcoin. To give you some perspective here, the last time we had a bullish crossover on the weekly MACD back in August led us to a very exciting place price-wise for Bitcoin, where we saw the price going from $45,000 approximately up to around $69,000. Previously, we had the bullish cross back here in October 2020, which of course led us into new all-time highs and all the way up to 64 thousand dollars so we could be looking at a similarly important crossover here coming up for the mac d now let's take a real quick look at the price action here on the weekly as well so we can see two weeks in a row forty two thousand five hundred dollars that's where this pink line is at here on the chart acting as an area of price resistance however the price right now is making its way up towards that line of resistance. Again, be interesting to see if we can finally tackle this stubborn area of price resistance here for Bitcoin. But this right here, that is really the area that we have to be watching. Let's zoom into the daily charts here to get a little bit of a, a closer look at what we have going on here. This area of resistance, what I'm naming resistance land, is really this area here at $45,500, $46,000. Really wanna see it closing above 45,500, which would help us get you know, a new higher high painted in potentially. Currently, the price is still just ranging and we have had a nice little bounce. I would like to point out, we have had a nice little bounce over the last few days off of the 50-day simple moving average, off of the 21-day exponential moving average. Both of those are now starting to trend upward. Also a positive sign for the markets here to see these shorter term moving averages starting to trend upward. Obviously, we wanna see our 200-day simple moving average turn around here and start trending upwards as well. That'd be a very positive sign. So yes, we need to close above these key areas of resistance. Really like to get out of this triangle to the upside, mind you, not to the downside, although I would appreciate some more buying opportunities. But I've been stacking a lot of Bitcoin during this period right here, I have been accumulating. This has, in my opinion, been a great accumulation period. Now I think we might be getting ready for some fireworks, especially considering the news that I'm about to be sharing with you. But just so you are aware, we still have these sticky areas of price resistance, $42,500, $45,500, and ideally to close back above the 200-day 
simple moving average right around $48,500 currently in order to really say we got a major trend reversal on our hands and things are getting super exciting again. We still have a lot of macro fear that could bring the markets down. So do tread carefully here. Like I said, I've been buying Bitcoin in this area. I think it's a nice time to be doing so. But what about that $10 billion Bitcoin buy? Well, this is some pretty crazy news. So the Terra Network, you know, we talk about Terra quite a few uh, few times here on the channel, the Terra Network, the Luna Asset, the relationship with UST. Well, these guys are buying, or planning to buy, $10 billion worth of Bitcoin in order to back the UST stablecoin with something more solid. That's insanity beyond belief 10 billion dollars in bitcoin buys coming now apparently they've already been greenlit to buy three billion dollars worth of bitcoin it's massive that's absolutely massive incredible even just the three billion dollars in bitcoin would be a big move the 10 billion dollars in bitcoin i mean this is potentially the start of something very, very big for the cryptocurrency space, because essentially what they are proposing to do is to make the UST stablecoin backed by Bitcoin, essentially making a Bitcoin standard for the UST stablecoin. That is a powerful proposition. And just so you understand how big of a story this potentially is that $10 billion is literally twice as much as MicroStrategy's $3.5 billion in Bitcoin buys and Tesla's $1.5 billion Bitcoin buy combined. MicroStrategy and Tesla kicked off really what was a major bullish impulse. MicroStrategy we can largely credit with the massive interest of institutional money that came in in 20. And of course, we can largely credit them with paving the way for the Tesla buy in early 2021. Here we are, a crypto native protocol looking to buy up to $10 billion worth of Bitcoin to back their stablecoin. This could be the start of a major period of accumulation by major protocols. Even if it was only just the Terra protocol that did it $10 billion in Bitcoin, ain't nothing to sneeze at. But if other protocols hop on board, if Terra is essentially being the micro strategy of the crypto native space right now, and we see other blockchains hopping on board and saying, hey, you know what? Actually, we'd like to have some Bitcoin reserves as well. That would be absolutely massive because these crypto companies, you have to realize, are just washed with so much cash. They have so much money on hand. The fact that Terra has $10 billion in order to buy Bitcoin is crazy. A lot of these crypto protocols are mega rich and they can afford to buy some serious amounts of Bitcoin. Only question is, will anybody else follow in Terra's footsteps? Even if no one does, this is still a majorly impactful story for the cryptocurrency space. $3 billion, as mentioned, has already been greenlit for purchasing Bitcoin to back up the UST stablecoin. They want to have up to $10 billion, though. That could have a serious impact on the markets. Next story I want to share with you here. El Salvador's demand, apparently, for their Bitcoin bond, $1.5 billion, although the Bitcoin bond only a billion dollars worth. That's pretty awesome, considering how pessimistic the market has been recently. To see El Salvador actually outstripping the supply for their Bitcoin bond by half a billion dollars, I think is incredible. Really, really incredible to see. You know, El Salvador was such an important story, and much like MicroStrategy being you know, a relatively smaller, lesser-known company that led to Tesla, a bigger, much more well-known company, getting into Bitcoin. El Salvador, I believe, will be that starting point, that uh, tip of the spear, if you will, for other countries to come on board and dive into the cryptocurrency space. We've had lots of 
different countries passing cryptocurrency legislations ever since El Salvador did, but nobody has gone the legal tender route. There's been a lot of chatter about legal tender. And legal tender is a big deal. We did have the Swiss city of Lugano doing it, so that's very exciting, but not the entire country of Switzerland. So when will the next country come on board and actually make a Bitcoin legal tender play? Well, breaking news out of Malaysia, Malaysian government proposes adopting Bitcoin and crypto as legal tender. Where this will go, will this get passed into law? Who knows? Malaysia has been a rather cryptophobic country in the past, but as we've seen, countries can very quickly change their opinions when they see the economic opportunity in front of them to be earlier adopters in this sphere. There's massive potential for any country that goes next. El Salvador was first, and I guarantee you it's not going to be the last country to make Bitcoin into a legal tender. The only question is which country comes next? My guess is that this year we're going to find out what country number two is going to be to make Bitcoin into legal tender. Anyway, big news, big things happening in the crypto space to that $10 billion Bitcoin coming purchase. Blows my mind, man. That is just an incredible amount of money to throw into Bitcoin to make a Bitcoin standard stablecoin. Very interesting stuff. Anyway, Curious to hear your opinion down below if you think that these Bitcoin purchases by Terra are going to be the start of a major new bullish impulse in the market, the start of a new phase of accumulation by protocols of Bitcoin, or is this just going to be a one-off and, you know, it's not going to have that big of an impact? Curious to know your opinion in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.